Take one. Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to week two of Human Growth and Development. So it is Tuesday, August the 22nd, and I'm making the video. Hopefully I'll get more streamlined and post these videos on Monday, but I'll try to make a commitment that if I don't post it Monday, I will post it Tuesday. So um, I did see that we had people watch the last video. That's why I'm making this video to help guide you through. Um, if you haven't noticed, this week there's one way to earn points, and that's by participating in our first content discussion. So last week you got a chance to introduce yourself to me and to your classmates, and you also got a chance to read the syllabus and take a syllabus quiz. Well, this week you get to actually talk about human growth and development. So you'll see that discussion one gives you two options. You can either answer some questions, or you can watch some videos and provide a synopsis and some other information, some other details. And so that's how you'll get points this week, 10 whole points by participating in our first discussion. Um, I'm going to have to make more videos and more um, or even more announcements just so you can kind of know what's going on. But all of the information is in the syllabus. But I found that the more I talk to you guys and the more I make announcements, people can kind of get the answers to the questions they may have because it is kind of awkward to just read the syllabus and, you know, so anyway, in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 things that were listed on the cover page, on the home page, but I'm sure that some people have just browsed right by them, so I'm going to mention them. First, the course is set up using modules. So the easiest way to navigate our course is to click on modules, and there's everything you need is via modules. There's a module called the Start Here Essentials and Extra module, and it has the course syllabus and tips on you know studying and the test taking and all stuff like that. There is a module specifically for the group project. There's a module specifically for writing to help you with tips on how to be successful. Remember, we, this is a Gordon Rule class. And then there are content modules, modules on chapter one, the content in chapter one, uh, modules on prenatal development, modules on early childhood, modules on, you know, late adulthood. So there's a module for everything. And in the module, you'll find there's PowerPoints, there's videos, and often there's even articles. So I would say if you want to find the easiest way to navigate Canvas in our class is to use modules, okay? That's number one. Number two, if you ever need to get in touch with me, Canvas is the best way. I check the discussion board one to two times a day, every day, well, Monday through Thursday. And so if you email me via Canvas or you post to the questions thread on Canvas, I'm likely to get it. Now, I am teaching seven classes, so I literally dedicate so much time to uh, CF and then I cut it off. Um, some people talk about work-life balance. Um, I'm not about a work-life balance. I'm about living my life. I love teaching. I love doing my job to the best of my ability, but I'm not one of those people that's just going to like sacrifice everything for the job. Um, hopefully, as you explore human growth and development, you'll understand why it's important to have priorities, have boundaries, and to, you know, stick with them. Okay, so Canvas is the best way to get in touch with me. Um, and because our class is online, I want to say Canvas is our classroom. Okay, so there's no other external platforms that you're required to use. Even YouTube, I post a lot of videos on YouTube and I give you links to other videos on YouTube, but YouTube is completely optional. You know, Canvas is where you submit your assignments. Canvas is where you can get the content in the class. Canvas is how you can communicate with me. So Canvas, get comfortable, get familiar with it. Okay, so one was module, two was Canvas. Three is ask questions. Some students will apologize for asking questions or they'll say, I'm sorry to bother you. A lot of students do that. You're not bothering me. Honey, you're the reason for me being a professor, okay? I love learning and I love students that want to know more about human growth and development, about social psychology, about general psychology, or about the assignments that I have assigned. I'm here to help you. Being a teacher is a servant position. You have to be willing to listen to criticism. You have to be willing to accept praise and you have to be willing to answer questions. And if I don't know the answer, I will refer you to someone who I think can help you get the right answer. So ask questions. And again, the discussion board that says, Questions. Are you confused? That's where you want to post your questions. Now, if it's something private, go ahead and shoot me an email at simsatcf.edu and I'll get I'll get back with you in 24 to 48 hours, Monday through Thursday. Okay, so one modules, two canvas, 
three ask questions for the course syllabus. Yes, you took a syllabus quiz. Yes, you read the syllabus last week. But remember, this syllabus is your roadmap. Throughout the course, you may have times where you get frustrated, annoyed, or distracted, or just you're not sure. Go to the syllabus first. I literally have to create a syllabus and submit it to the dean, which is kind of like our working document. And so if you ever had an issue, the first thing they're going to do is pull up the syllabus. So the syllabus is a really important document. And I would encourage you to check the syllabus when you have a question before just, you know, asking me. But if you don't see it in the syllabus, ask me. Or if you're not sure what it says in the syllabus, like you read it and you're like, this is unclear, then ask me. But the syllabus is your friend. Become one with the syllabus. All right, number five, announcements. Um, I will be posting announcements throughout the semester, and I, I suggest you check the announcements one to two times per week so that if you don't miss anything, okay? Um, this week, I... I wasn't feeling well on Sunday, so I didn't, um, you know, spend time update, updating our course. So what I did was post an announcement before I post made this video. So when I posted the announcement, I put links to the module that had the PowerPoints and the videos and the assignment for the week. And I so the announcements are are going to help you. All right, um, number six is um, substantive posts. Um, Every week when I talk about what's due, I'm going to kind of hammer down the idea of complete, correct, clear, concise, and creative. And that is because a substantive post does you good and it does me good and does the whole class good. This is a learning environment. And if everybody is sharing good quality, credible information, then we all grow. We all learn together. You know, you got me, I got you. So I really want to applaud students who give a substantive post. Now, if you're one of these people who try to give one of these shady half posts and try to pass it off as substantive, do know that I'm side-eyed. Know that I'm just looking at you like, I can't believe they brought this in here. Okay, go ahead and give a substantive post. It doesn't hurt you. This is your chance to learn about human growth and development. Okay, all right, number seven. Um, I only accept work in Microsoft Word, um, well, the Microsoft Suite. So that includes Word, PowerPoint, okay, or a PDF. And the reason why is because CF has made it so that all students who are enrolled at CF, if you're at least half time, you have access to Office 365. And so you can use uh, Word if you want to. Okay, so it's a wonderful product. I suggest taking advantage of this wonderful opportunity and making sure your assignments are submitted in a as a MF, as a Microsoft Word document, or if you're using a uh, Mac, it might be easier to convert it to a PDF. That's fine. PDF or Word. The reason why I don't bring this up is because sometimes people will try to use Google Docs. They'll try to use, um, I don't know, uh, they'll save it in a pages format and all these formats that I don't even hear. Okay. In this class, you're going to be using Microsoft Word or PDF. Now, in some cases, there'll be space available in Canvas. And in those times, you can simply use the space that's provided. It's usually like a text box and you can text box and you can type right in the text box. Um, so that's acceptable too. Okay, so that's number eight. Number nine, make this class personally meaningful to you. Make this class personally meaningful to you. And the reason why I say that is because to get the most bang for your buck, you're going to need to make sure that you personalize the information. The more you personalize the information, the more you will understand it, the better you'll do on the test or the quiz or the paper. Um, so really try to personalize the information. And our, my last thing, 10, is have fun, okay? It might be, you might be thinking, well, it's not fun. It is fun, okay? Trust me, you can have, if you're a fun person, you can make anything fun. That's my 12-year-old daughter over there talking. Um, you, that's her fingers. That's waving in the screen. Okay, so anyway, the video is getting a little long. It's nine minutes. So to wrap it up, these are the 10, suggest, 10 things that I want to point out. The other things I'll say is that I do have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm on the Ocala campus um, in the morning and in the afternoon. So from 9 a.m. to 9.30, just before my first class, and I'm in building eight, room 106G. I'm also in there after my first class from 10.45 to 11.45. Um, I then come back to campus at 1.30 to two, right before my next class. And I'm there again from 3.15 to 3.45 after my last class of the day. So I'm face-to-face -face if you need to see me, if you need to come in and chat with me. 
Other than that, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm available at different times and it's on the computer. So you can email me at simpsonscf.edu. You can post to the questions thread in Canvas. You can set up a Zoom with me. Um, and the Zoom can be one-on-one -on -one or it could be with the group. It's just totally up to you. I'm available um, about 11 hours a week and that time is specifically for you. My office hours are for you. Often what happens is students don't visit me during office hours except for my face-to-face -face students. And the online students just email me. And so I use the office hours to respond to emails and to reach out to students who I think need reaching out to. But if you want to, you know, have a powwow, I'm here for you. Um, I think that's like the main thing I want to say. I'm looking forward to reading your responses in week two on the discussion board. And if you want me to make more videos, like I said in the last one, uh, keep watching and also give me a thumbs up or make a comment because like I said the reason why I'm making this video is because so many people watched the first one and if I see that students are watching the videos that encourages me to sit on this computer and to talk to the screen and to make a video for you um, I've also had some content videos and I'm still slowly getting comfortable with making these content videos where I'm just focusing on topics that a lot of people had trouble with and so I will make those available to you as well uh, the first one is already available. I narrated chapter one just to kind of get you started. So um, that's it, folks. Um, enjoy the rest of the week. I to Tyler.